Diabetes Free India. How is it possible? Across India today, almost every family knows someone living with diabetes. A condition often linked with obesity, hypertension, heart disease or kidney problems. This message is for every patient, every family member and everyone who wishes to reclaim good health. November 14th is observed worldwide as World Diabetes Day. Each year, the month of November becomes a time for reflection and renewed commitment to preventing and reversing diabetes. What was once considered a disease of middle or old age is now being seen in younger adults and even teenagers. India today carries one of the largest burden of diabetes in the world. And that reality makes awareness and action more urgent than ever. If our nation is to become truly healthy, we must dream beyond treatment. We must work together for a diabetes-free India. And the first step towards that dream is understanding the science behind the disease. Most people try hard to reduce sugar and rice, avoid sweets, and start walking. Yet, the blood sugar levels refuse to stay normal. They take medicines faithfully. Some even use insulin injections. But the disease continues to progress. Every hospital visits add new tablets or higher doses. And many quietly accept that they will need medication for life. If that sounds familiar, remember this. Your efforts are not in vain. They have only lacked the scientific precision needed to match the depth of your condition. Understanding that science can change everything. There are two main forms of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes occurs when the pancreas stops producing insulin because its insulin-making cells are destroyed. It affects roughly 5 to 10 percent of people with diabetes and requires lifelong insulin replacement. The other 90 to 95 percent have type 2 diabetes. Here, the body still produces insulin, often in large amounts, but the cells stop responding properly. This is called insulin resistance. As both glucose and insulin levels rise, blood vessels are damaged, leading to heart disease, kidney failure, vision loss, hearing loss, and nerve damage. Type 2 diabetes is therefore not merely a sugar disorder. It is a metabolic disease born out of modern lifestyle errors. Poor diet, inactivity, chronic stress, sleep deprivation, and epigenetic memory transferred from parents. By scientifically correcting lifestyle patterns, we can restore insulin sensitivity, reduce medication, and move steadily towards remission. That is the real pathway to a diabetes-free India. How can we identify whether it's type 1 or type 2? Along with blood glucose, check your insulin level. If you are on insulin therapy, a C-peptide test will reveal whether your body still makes insulin. If insulin or C-peptide is normal or high, the problem is not lack of insulin. It is that insulin isn't working effectively. High insulin or hyperinsulinemia can be as dangerous as high sugar level. It drives fatty liver, arterial blockages, weight gain, and even high blood pressure. So the goal must be to normalize both glucose and insulin, not one at the cost of the other. And this is possible only through scientific lifestyle correction. 
medicines can lower sugar level but they cannot reverse diabetes most drug work by pushing the pancreas to make more insulin which may keep sugar low for a while but worsen insulin resistance in the long run real recovery begins only when we correct the root cause our lifestyle if you have lived with diabetes for years your insulin receptors may have become dull and unresponsive like rusted locks that need careful repair not more peace and the hidden factor is chronic inflammation a silent internal swelling at cellular level caused by certain foods stress and environmental toxins it fuels every major lifestyle diseases including diabetes unless we identify and remove these personal triggers no pill can bring lasting relief that's why general advice fails and personalized scientific correction succeeds ask yourself these 12 questions one are your medicines or insulin doses steadily increasing two is your hba1c still high despite regular medication 3 do you take four or more tablets daily for sugar pressure or cholesterol 4 are your kidney reports especially gfr or urine protein worsening 5 do you feel numbness tingling or burning in your hands or feet 6 do you often feel exhausted or breathless during normal activity 7 have you been told you need knee replacement or joint surgery 8 how i doctors advised laser treatment or injections 9 have you noticed a loss of hearing 10 do you have fatty liver or early signs of liver fibrosis 11 whether recurrent infections bother you till does your sugar shoot up dangerously if you miss even one dose if the answer is yes to any of this your body's insulin receptors are already struggling and it's time to focus on repair not just control at this stage clinically supported lifestyle correction becomes essential our goal should not be to manage disease forever but to restore normal function and protect the body's organs this requires two scientific steps step 1 comprehensive testing find out how much insulin your body makes which organs are affected and what inflammatory or toxic triggers exist such data allows doctors to safely reduce medicines and insulin while protecting the heart kidney liver and eyes step 2 regeneration medicine cannot rebuild organs but nutrition and circulation can with the precise guidance the body's own cells can recover and regain vitality that is true reversal not mere control so ask yourself do you want to remain a patient forever or begin your journey back to health if you have tried and struggled what you need now is not stronger drugs but stronger understanding clarity about your condition and clarity about the scientific path to healing in our next episode we will reveal the single biological process that connects diabetes with the hypertension heart disease obesity arthritis etc another important aspect is when someone is talking about healthcare and new treatment approaches you should consider the scientific background of the concerned person i am dr jolly thompson started medical education in government medical college kottayam 
1981 batch and completed diploma and md in obstetrics and gynecology from government medical college tiruvannadavaram kerala india in 1992 after additional training in reproductive medicine surgery and painless labor i joined government service later i resigned from government service and in 1997 started practicing as consultant at life care center devara kochi i focus on lifestyle modulation with the clinical support minimizing medication and surgical intervention for lifestyle diseases the time has come to rethink how we view diabetes taking medicines for life is not the solution understanding and correcting lifestyle at its root is the solution let us unite doctors patients families and policy makers to build a future where india leads the world not in diabetes numbers but in diabetes freedom share this message with everyone you know because every informed person becomes a step towards a diabetes free india the answer does not lie in more tablets or surgeries they lie in knowledge discipline and scientific guidance to learn more about diabetes metabolic health and clinically supported lifestyle correction visit our official website or explore the other videos on this channel together let us replace fear with the knowledge dependence with the empowerment and illness with well-being which develops a confidence in correcting one's own health destiny in the next video we will uncover how one internal process chronic inflammation is the single hidden fire behind diabetes high blood pressure heart disease arthritis and obesity don't miss it what share and actively help to create a diabetes free india thank you diabetes free india how is it possible Thank you.